<clears throat> Shalom. Um, my name is uh, my my American name is Johnny. Uh, my Hebrew name is Sakurai Kudash. Most people call me Kudash. <laughs> you know, this is my testimony. I'm not gonna come here and give you a bunch of scriptures. Just let me give you my testimony. Um, I grew up in uh, Banning, California. Um, I was born in Fontana, California. When I was born, I was premature. I was uh, three months born before my due date. Uh, I had meningitis. Um, other things too. Um, I was in the hospital for six months before my mom and dad <clears throat> were allowed to take me. Through all that, I grew up, um, you know, in Banning, poor uh, apartments. Um, my dad started having a good job and stuff. He came up, uh, but we started going to the Christian church. But first, we started off in um, Catholicism, which is a Catholic church. Most of my family is in the Catholic Church. Um, yeah, so from there, you know, we started going to, but we started, my, my family, my immediate family, we was going to the Christian Church. And um, we were there for um, probably my whole teenage life, up to 14. And um, it was like a, a apostolic church, and um, you know, we end up uh, staying there, and you know, who we thought was God, we worshipped and everything, and certain things started happening in the church, and uh, my mom left, and we left the church, and I remember when we left that church. Uh, I was always connected with, with God. And I remember that um, uh, I told myself, or the Holy Spirit, um, that I was going to be preaching His words in the last days. But um, after that, you know, I went into the world. Um, I was brought up uh, mostly on my mother's side. Um, she's a Mexican, so-called Mexican. And my dad is a so-called native. And um, you know, I grew up on that side and uh, most of the time my mom and dad got a divorce and uh, start partying. You know, my my family's a party family. And, um, you know, the time I was 14 to 25, you know, drinking, smoking, smoking weed every day. You know, um, mostly drinking, though. You know, it was cool in our family. Like, they let you drink, you know, and... That's what I thought life was all about. Just drinking, having a good time, having fun, go out drinking and driving, you know, just living it up. You know, I have a friend that's a DJ. We used to go out all the time and just party all the time. You know, I used to go out there and get in fights. You know, people know me around town as, you know, a fighter. You know, hanging around the wrong people. 
you know, carrying guns in my car. You know, a lot of this stuff always, you know, hit on the down low. But now it's coming out, you know, in my testimony. Um, started working. I remember when I got out of high school, I was still on that same tip. You know, hanging out with gang members. Um, smoking, drinking, and going, going to so- stores, robbing, getting liquor, you know. And... Um, started working at UPS and uh, a lot of the people at UP at around there you know got me involved in drugs started doing cocaine which I ain't proud of you know but um I remember when I was 25, 26, it was around the holiday season, Christmas, Cesar Bogier's birthday, um, that uh, I met this brother, and um, I saw something different in him. I didn't know him, but I just paid attention to him. And we started talking. One day, I was uh, loading the trailer. And he came up to me and he was like, out of nowhere. This is when I was in the world too, out of nowhere. He says, don't you know that Jesus' name ain't Jesus? There was no J's back then. And I was like, what's this guy talking about? (laughs) Out of nowhere, you know? And I was just like... You know, and ever since then, you know, at that point, <clears throat> every day at work, we was talking. He would bring out the scriptures, and I would, you know, I would just listen to him, you know. And um, one day, we uh, went to Denny's out to eat. And uh, he started praying over his food. And... Uh, Right then and there, I got convicted because I realized that I forgot about God, who I knew was God, you know. And at that point, um, every day I started like asking questions, started, uh, started bringing this Bible to work, I started reading it with them. And at this point, you know, like when I was growing up, I didn't even I didn't care about school, but I, I passed my school, you know, but I didn't even know how to read. Didn't even know how to read. And I started reading the Bible, trying to read the Bible. And the most high put it in my spirit so much to feed me with the Bible that he taught me how to read over time. And I'm just like, man, this is a miracle, you know. And so, um, uh, you know, I kept going into the word, you know, and I uh, ended up reaching GOCC, and they connected me with some brothers. I went to their Passover, and, you know, we had a Passover, I was learning more and more, and, uh, you know, and then we started, you know, having our own ministry, uh, the brothers, the brothers there, and over time, you know, it got big, you know, and um, I learned a lot. I had some good friendships, you know, but it, um, you know, I still care about them brothers, you know, but I had to move on. And now I know why the Most High 
had me move on. You know, I know why the Most High had me there. You know, to learn. You know, to to learn around some really school uh, skilled brothers. You know, but there was differences, and you know, the Most High told me to leave, so I left. And uh, I went to another ministry uh, to end up, uh, you know, baptizing. Then, like, four weeks later, I left and ended up baptizing, like, seven seven people in this ministry. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, me and my brother and other, my other brothers over there in Palm Springs, you know, we... Uh, had a good relationship, you know, and I learned a lot, you know, but the most high put in my spirit that I had to leave, you know, because there was something else missing. And so I was, you know, by myself for about, I want to say about five months. And most I just had me read it. I read the whole book of Jubilees, uh, Jasher, uh, Enoch. I read a lot of the Josephus. I, I read the whole Apocrypha. You know, just he had me just on, on one. And I never like realized it until I looked back at it. And I was like, wow. You know, and I can look back at it now, you know. Then the most high connected with me is with some brothers out there in Boston and uh, Connecticut area on a phone line. You know, just shout out to my brother Ronnie Panah Johnson um, and my brother Dawa Daloya and uh, my other brother uh, Menzer, aka Yakal. You know, I learned a lot from those those brothers. I'm still learning too. You know, and I thank the Most High for connecting me with the Learned Brothers. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, my mission's still going, and I'm still growing. And I came out here to Arizona. And, uh, man, I never ever seen what I've seen in other past groups out, out here. Um, I seen people get healed. Man, I got healed just by being out here. The Holy Spirit is, you know, I'm not trying to make one better than the other, but what I what I witnessed out here, um, Gadites, is awake. We're awake, you know, and it's really something beautiful out here, man. And I just thank the Most High for. You know, giving me my family, you know, and giving me the opportunity to grow with my brothers and sisters out here, you know. <clears throat> I once told a brother that uh, if I was by myself, I'd still follow the most high. You know, I kept my word on that. And I believe that most I heard me say that and he tested me. You know. And hopefully um, that I'm you know looked at as a strong warrior in the most high's eyes. <clears throat> but um, there's a lot of work to still do a lot of work to do st still through the four corners of the earth and you know we all need to come together for this last battle you know it's good against evil you know one thing I did have learned is that we gotta stay away from sin we really gotta stay away from sin cause that's what's gonna really take us away from the most high you know it's 
good to go into prophecy and all that stuff, you know, history, everything. But if we can't stay away from sin, you know, it tells you if you have the works of the flesh, you can't inherit the kingdom of heaven. You know, we must focus on the spirit, staying in the fruits of the spirit and loving one another. You know, that's what I learned out here, too. And I learned through my um, different situations from here that we have to lo learn to love one another, you know, and um, most I put me through some tests already, you know. And that's, you know, that's what we need to do as a, as a nation, you know, to love one another. You know, um, I just thank the Most High, you know, for giving me the opportunity to, to talk, to give my testimony, you know, and hopefully people know where my heart really is at. You know, you know, to my loved ones, you know, back home, you know, and really see what this is all about. It's not all about material things. It's not about having all these things, this life. Your eyes are really open. You can see. You can see what's going on. You can see the big picture. You know, it tells you without faith, it's impossible to please the most high. You know, it says works, works without uh, faith is dead, you know. So we got to put our faith to work, man. Just like Abraham, when he took Isaac up to the, to the mount, you know, that was work. And the most high tested his faith. See if he really, really deserved what he, what the most high put him through, you know. So, you know, thank, thank you everybody for listening to this, you know. Just know that you aren't, you ain't the only one that went through something. The most high purified my heart. He gave me a new spirit. I'm a new, I'm a new creature, you know, in Yeshaya. So, you no, know, to all the brothers out there, I love y'all. All the sisters out there, I love y'all. You know that worship this Father, the Spirit, and the Truth, man. And uh, all praises to the Most High, higher in the name of Yeshaya. So be it.